Matthew Suckey here, and this basic soul winning tip that we have today is to make sure that you ask follow-up questions. Now this is important for people at all levels, whether you're an experienced soul winner or whether you're a beginner, but it's especially important when you're first starting to give the gospel. And what I mean by asking follow-up questions is you want to make sure that you cover everything very clearly and make sure that they understand it. For example, before you go towards the very end, you want to kind of recap and say, you know, do you believe that uh, salvation is a free gift or do you think you may, might have to live a good life or get baptized or repent of your sins? Do you think that a person can ever lose their salvation? Do you think that um, do you believe that Jesus Christ is God and that hell is a literal place of fire? Now in the description below, I'm going to give you a list of follow-up questions that you can use, especially when you're first giving the gospel. The reason why it's so important when you first start giving the gospel is that oftentimes when you first give the gospel, it seems like people are kind of, seems like people believe, but a lot of times they're just kind of agreeing with you to agree. And so by asking follow-up questions in various categories, if everyone keeps telling you, well, no, I don't believe salvation lasts forever, then what that's going to tell you is maybe that's a point I need to cover a little bit more. You know, if someone keeps telling you, well, I believe there's other ways to heaven besides Jesus Christ, then you're going to know, well, wait a minute, I need to start covering that in my gospel presentation more. So in the description below, we're going to list a bunch of follow-up questions. And it's very, very important when you first start out because a lot of times it definitely seems like they understand. It seems like they believe. But I know just looking back that I probably prayed with a lot of people that didn't really understand. Maybe I wasn't as thorough as I thought I was. With more experience, I've kind of learned that. But when you're a beginner, it's very important to make sure you ask these questions.